Hello and welcome to Toby Sonics. It is Tuesday, the 20th of October, 2020. I hope you all had a great weekend and that the weeks have started well to you and the days have been kind. In today's show, we're going to be taking a look at how I used Autopan to add movement and ear candy to my new single, Military Industrial Complex. <laughs> We're going to be using the stock auto pan that comes with Cubase. According to Steinberg, the auto pan is an automatic panning effect with adjustable width, rate, two wave shapes, and tempo sync. Let's start off with the hat shaker combo in the intro, and let's have a listen to it with the auto pan in bypass. I like the tone, the sound of the hi-hat shaker combo, but I wanted to create a little bit more stereo there. I wanted to create a kind of left-right kind of frame, a kind of ear candy shifting about. Let's take the auto pan out of bypass and let's have a listen to what it's giving the production. And you can hear that immediately we've got that shifting left to right effect. We're getting that kind of stereo movement. So as soon as the track starts, We've opened up the stereo field. We've got a couple of things going on here. We're using the sine wave option for our auto pan, which for me, it always gives it this really nice kind of organic feel, the way it shifts. And we're just using a little bit of phase there. We're actually at 270, we're over here in the phase. And that's just to help control the left-right balance of the hi-hat. Let's have a listen to what that hi-hat sounds like when we put it back in context. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. And you can hear that it's giving us that, that opening stereo. Then the synth comes in and kind of fills in some of that mid-space. Then the bass kind of right down there in the gut. Next up, let's listen to a pair of vocal samples that are working together. Let's listen to how we're using the auto pan to create a contrast between the two. But let's start by listening to the two of them together without the auto pan. So we have a kind of high and kind of low uh, box sample going on. We have one that's built from actual samples and we will have one that is actually being triggered by MIDI and in fact is playing uh, two note chords. They're a little bit stacked on top of each other. The auto pattern was a great way of getting them to shift about a little bit, add some movement, add some ear candy. Let's take a listen to them with the auto pan back in. On the high vox, we've got our tried and true, we've got our organic sine wave going on. But the first contrast we're introducing is here we go on the low vox, we have a triangle shape. And that means that they're kind of shifting in and out of, I want to say phase with each other, but that's actually not the right word. They're shifting in and out. Sometimes they're kind of sat on top of each other and kind of panning with each other. And then sometimes that panning relationship is moving because we've got a different thing going off between the two things. We've also got slightly different timings. They're both synced up. They're both one beat to the bar, but the high frequency is on a dotted note, whereas the low frequency is not. So again, we're a little bit of contrast going on between the two, helping us to create that shifting variance and feeling within the mix. Let's have a listen to what they sound like in context. We're gonna start right from the beginning of the breakdown from the drop. So at first you're gonna hear just the high vox moving around and then the low vox is gonna come in and you're gonna hear it all in context with all the extra sound design. To deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. 
if a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I am also taking swift and decisive action to protect our great capital. So we've got an awful lot going off in there. We've got explosions happening. We've got the piano shifting about. We've got extra filter textures down the middle. And I think that by having that little bit of shift of movement on these two vocal effects, we're just helping your ear pick them out a little bit. You've got the sporadic left, right of the explosions, these kind of bursts that are happening. And then you've got this more rhythmic, kind of musical, beautiful, kind of organic vocal shift on the panning. And I think they contrast each other really well. There's two types of movement. So far, we've used percussion and we've used kind of sound effects like voice effects. Let's see what happens when we use auto pan on a traditional instrument like a piano. Let's start by having a listen to the piano with the auto pan and bypass. It's a beautiful piano part, but it's just a little bit dull down the middle like that. And frankly, with everything else we've got going on in this part, with all the bass filtering and synth filtering and what have you, there is no way on God's green earth that that is ever gonna work. The frequency masking would be insane. We needed to do something, we needed to move it out wide. Let's see what Autopan can do for us. So first up, we've got a different shape going on. We've got ourselves a square shape, and this really worked well, I think, with the movement of the piano, with the way the piano's being played. It really brings out the kind of physical kind of shift and performance of the piano. I love that. Right, let's have a listen to it in the context of the mastered version. And once again, like we've done before, we're gonna set it into a wider context. So we're gonna come in at the beginning of the breakdown where we've got one piano playing and then halfway through, you're gonna hear the second piano come in. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I am also taking swift and decisive action to protect our great capital. What I really like about this piano pan is it's kind of in the mids, so it's actually kind of shifting there in the depth. So rather than give you extra width, it's actually kind of kind of drawing you into the production. It's creating this extra sense of depth within the what's happening. So it's drawing you deeper and deeper into the sound design, pulling you into the emotion of what's happening, into the depth of what's actually happening. Let's finish off with the daddy of them all, the rotating cowbell. Let's start by having a listen to what the cowbell sounds like without the autopan. Yeah, it's a pretty cool effect as it is, but with everything going on in the chorus, drums, bass, synth, mm -mm, we needed to get it out wide. And I just love the idea of trying to rotate it round the chorus. Let's drop it out of bypass and hear what that sounds like. I love this rotating cowbell effect. It is awesome. It was a complete pain to get it to sit right in the mix, both for me and for Magnus, the mix engineer. That's a different video. But for right now, I just love what the auto pan is doing to it. It's crazy. Let's have a listen to it in context, in the final chorus, in the mastered version. <laughs> I love the contrast and the pace that it introduces to what is already a fast chorus. I love the fact that it just gives you that shift in contrast and spins you around, just adds so much fun, really gives it a feature, makes it interesting, makes it stand out. That's what you're trying to do when you're producing. You're trying to come up with something that's gonna make your track really pop.
there we go. Steinberg Cubase stock auto pan. We've got a stock plugin doing a great job in our production. Check out your stock plugins, get to know them. They can do a lot of the work for you. You're going to save yourself a bunch of money. You're going to get some great results. Thank you for watching if you're on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Thank you for listening if you're on the podcast. I hope that you found that useful. Please, please, please check out my new single, Industrial Military Complex. It is out on all streaming platforms and Bandcamp. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Let me know what you think about the panning effects that we just went through. Until next Tuesday, good night and good noise. Stay safe and stay healthy. Nothing, nothing, nothing.